And that's mission one done. Let's try to get through the next one. Caper, next caper, and we'll probably call a night. It's been two days since the heist at Legitimate Business Company. Two days since setting up my Krimmer account. This thing is kind of impressive, not gonna lie. And it's got so many masks I recognize. <laughs> Man, ain't north. Hey, Penny, congrats on getting in. Where do you steal your invite from? Hack some servers at LBC. Wow, South and I are proud of you. Come by our cafe sometime for a donut. There you go, Switz. There's your donut. Apparently stealing app is the app is pretty common. It might even be a rite of passage. If so, that's good for me. Means less chance of consequences for my caper. That uh, ghost pepper. BBQ at my place this weekend. My new chili pea relish peas gotta knock them dead. Figuratively, not literally. Sure, whatever. I'm not gonna lie. The chit chat is very distracting. Just like a real social media app. Feels good to feel like a part of the mass community. Have been flying semi solo for so long. It's not the occasional backyard potluck. Sounds like mystery men, right? It's a lot of fun to socialize my fellow mask, you know? Uh, Ultima Tom uh, seems to be going off because they put uh, plastic uh, utensils in their food delivery. They'll pay in blood. Even the less stable ones. Most well, interesting text to come in so far. Krimer, uh, Krimer admin matchmaker. User 1123. You're cordially invited to the Krimer social mixer at Destructo's Barn and Grill. 8 p.m. sharp on Wednesday. Sincerely, the matchmaker. An invitation from a Krimer admin to a social mixer. It's a little risky concerning I broke into Lemmy's office to get Krimer access, but I'm going to eat food and get Gibson Cyborg fixed. I need jobs. So I cosh him up and head out. Let's go meet some bad guys. Ah, nice. Ah, Destructo's Bar and Grill. Sometimes you want to go, everybody lowers your name. I'm always mad you came. Arm! I'm a regular Destructo's. He's a great guy, retired mask who runs underground speakeasy for the criminal set. This there's a hole in the wall, a real seedy joint. But having destroyed once or twice, Destructo decided to get, go more upscale. Masks don't need filthy gin joints. Turns out nobody likes filthy gin joints when they can drink in class and style instead. Legitimate point. I've never seen it so packed. There's all sorts of masks here. Some I recognize, some I don't. Each of us has a uh, hello, my name is Tag. The secret mask names. Though my mask name is uh, just my real name. Yeah, believe it or not, my real name is Penny Larceny. I think you see why I ended up a criminal, right? That's pretty funny, actually. Four to four, I have to start figuring out an in for being secret so socially. Someone speaks up and the crowd hushes. Friends, your attention, please. Thank you all so much for coming to our little party. We hope you'll make valuable contacts today. I'll be directing this event on behalf of Krimmer and the King of Yellow. My name is... The Matchmaker, Krimmer Henchwoman. I'm very happy to be here to aid you in your villainous schemes. Wow, she's pretty stylish. Nice to see Krimmer's staff looking out professional and posh and stuff. It's her, it's Lane's personal secretary. Don't you recognize her? That's the internship director. That's the flimsiest disguise I've ever seen. She works for LBC. Well, I'm going for the first one. Oh, that's the secretary. She's Clark, Clark, Clark she's a Clark Kent glasses, really. They really work. What? Never seen this person before. What are you talking about? Look at this same woman as before. It does, doesn't I told you, Switch. Yeah, don't be silly. The nice office lady didn't wear a mask. I mean, I noticed, right? Nope, no mask. This woman has a mask on. Can't be the same person. You got the benefit of your super weird outside perspective. Me? I have no idea who this is. Masks work really well, you know. It's why nobody recognizes me when I'm a man to hug and kiss either. It's foolproof. <laughs> Before we begin, I'd like to introduce our mutual benefactor. He's the visionary responsible for the Krimer service. Friends, I give you... And a man in a yellow power tie and a dandy concealing blur mask appears. Broadcast through a concealed projector. King in yellow. Criminals, masterminds, villains, all. I bid you a good evening. The King in yellow, Krimer director. Holy poop, the king in yellow? I've never met him. Few have. He never leaves his private island, like Mr. Rourke. 
Any communications is rare. I guess typical Krimer social event is beneath him showing up in person. This, presumably not pre-recorded, broadcast is all we get. Tonight you'll meet potential allies who will enable you to take your evil schemes to the next level. Krimer is the antidote to Capebook. We are the disruptive element. We bring doom to the heroes and victory to the villainous. Through Krimer, perhaps one day you too will rule an empire like mine. Perhaps. Oh, I like that. I will give you only the tools. It's up to you and your boundless ambition for evil to rise and claim your destiny. This gathering represents your first step. Start off on the right foot. I look forward to watching your progress. And he vanishes as the broadcast ends. Not going to hang around and chat, apparently. Now then, we're going to do a little thing I like to call speed dating for supervillains. Oh my. Now where prominent criminal bosses will be seated at tables, potential hench persons will move from table to table. Hey, Switch, you ever done any speed dating? Maybe it'll help me out here. You only get a few minutes before the bell rings, you have to move to the next table. Everyone to your stations, I'll let the speed dating event commence. Okay. Not what I was expecting, but hey, means I don't have to break the ice myself. The criminal assistant directs me to my first table as the bell chimes for the round to begin. Nope. All right, Switz, so we're going to wing it here. And my first villainous dream date is... A mad scientist. I mean, fair. A good 23% of masks are mad scientists, according to the recent poll in Masks Monthly. And the sticky sticker, sticky sticker name tag on the doctor's coat reads... Mr. Mayhem, mad scientist. Fair enough. Please meet me, Mr. Mayhem. I'm Doctor. It's Doctor Mayhem. And I have the medical school student loan debt to prove it. Oh. Excuse me. Doctor Mayhem in so much debt. Pronouns are he, him. Right, okay, Doctor Mayhem. Got it. Just because a short sighted fool stripped me of my doctorate doesn't make me any less of a doctor. Fair point. Cowards all! My vision was simply too, too radical, too unorthodox for their simple minds to comprehend. Okay, how radical and unorthodox are we talking here? Like, do you mean didn't fill the paperwork radical or mountain of human cadavers radical? What? No, no, no. I mean, I wanted to share my research and vaccines for free. I understand you wanted to profit off my work instead. Oh. Okay. Well, I like the cure for a rare disease and cost them millions. The company faked an ethic incident and lost my license. Huh. The healthcare industry turns on greed and misery. They call me villain when they are the true villains. One day I'll show them all. Mark my words, I will have my revenge. With, like, murder and stuff? That kind of revenge? No! Living well is the best revenge. As in, I'm going to make sure disadvantaged communities across the world live well. Oh. Because, like, F those greedy shoots. F them. That's all. No murder required. Wait, poop. You're trying to do yourself, and I interrupted. Sorry, who are you? I'm, well, I'm, I'm Penny. Penny Larceny. Pronouns are she, he, she, her. Okay, for the record, my name is actually Isaac uh, Mar Marquez. Marquez? I don't know whether it's ridiculous to get up and use that ridiculous name because they expected me when de dealing with masks. So going to stick to, to wacky made-up names. Helps you with your anonymity and, uh, and uh, anonymity and cuts down on paper trails. Yeah, well, I plan to have a history and remember my name after I cure cancer. These are crazy or very ambitious. We're going to find out, I guess. Just stick to it. Just stick it in the face of all who doubted Dr. Ma'am. Isaac Marquez, I mean. I, I mean, I meant Isaac. Okay, okay. We have enough for a little limited time on this ridiculous speed date. Any questions for me before we move along? What do you think? Maybe you should clear up before you. So work for the good doctor. What's the key? Is that me to pull for him? Tell the doctor why he's playing a mask. Is a hot dog a sandwich? I don't even ask that. You know what I'm going to ask, right? In your personal opinion, is a hot dog a sandwich? Chat, hot dog is not a sandwich. Uh, a sandwich basically is two separate pieces of bread. That's what it requires. A bun, is not a, a bun is not a sandwich. A hot dog is not a sandwich. Trust me. I have a few minutes to establish a working relationship, and this is how you want to spend that time? Hey, I'm serious. Surely you can solve the, this conundrum. Fine, fine. If you map bread to the slices of a cube, 
You can categorize everything as a pie, as a pie, a taco, or a sandwich. Taco Tuesday. A hot dog maps to three quesadilla sides. In essence, there's more of a taco than a sandwich. And okay, I just messed with you. You don't have any buns. And you have you use bread for your hot dogs. That's a hot dog sandwich, Switz. Man, you gotta relax. I get that they have this edgy any hero thing going on, but come on. Yeah. Better be annoyed at me over that gig, but he sighs. I'm trying, believe me. I have a hard time finding my way in this scene. I know I take poop too seriously overall. I'm a no fun workaholic. I'll try not to be the most annoying boss you've ever worked for. I can lose stuff, okay? Hot dog, we have a wiener. Nice one, Switz. Sounds good. Well, I've got your opinion. Can I ask you a question? Oh, boy. Sure, sure. Why are you a criminal? You're not trying to be a villain. Are you trying to be a villain? If so, why? Oh, uh, well. Better judge, even if I come off as preachy. Just curious. You've been honest with me. Born and raised a criminal family, right? That's all you've known. Wealth and power and mass tradition. A surgeon for Gibson. Bill just labeled in the end. Hmm. What do you think, folks? A for family, B for uh, save the cat, or C for label? Well, I know what we're going to do with, I think. I'm leaning towards uh, Surge for Gibson because, you know, we love the cat, right? Hmm. So what says A or C? All right. A or C? Let me see what we got here. We're going to go with A, buddy. Criminal mother, criminal father, and now criminal orphan. Other kids grew up with dolls and toys. I grew up with lockpicks and grappling hooks. At this point, it's my only real skill, only real job skill. My reputation as a mask means, kind of means it's all I can get out of life. Aw. A lot of weirdos in the mask scene that get off on play acting at being pure evil. Me? I'm just me. For better or worse, I'm paying larceny. I don't know how to be anyone else. I respect that. Some choice, some circumstance. Well, as long as we keep things sensible, I'm okay dealing with a career criminal. And the bell rings in the first round of speed dating. Ah, time to switch dance partners. Dance partners. I'll be in touch, Penny. Together we may put to get, put a dent in the power structure of this world. And the cowards who control us will rule the day they spurn Dr. Mayhem. Dude, ranting. Right, 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 sorry. Anti-mask masks are pretty rare. I wasn't expecting to meet one at a crimmer gathering. What do you think of that guy? I like him. I'm not a fan of his anger management issues. He's pretty handsome. You think he's single. Your mom would love you today, a doctor. What do you think, chat? A, you like him? B, not a fan of his anger management? Or C, you want to be a doctor? Do I want to know? I'm leaning towards B. I'm gonna I'm gonna go B in this one. Yeah, dude's got some pretty pent up rage. I'm not a huge fan of. Turns out to be a typical nice guy who's gonna turn turn on me. Well, f that. Fair enough. Yeah, let's we'll get more of him. We'll see. Oh yeah, we got a couple more here. Aren't blocked by creep person or blood red robes and full body bandaging. Oh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. cultist. Uh, what? Earth. Fortunately, before the hooded minion can. Sh Shank me one. A gentle wave dismisses our presence. You're dismissed, Seventh Blood Shadow. I wish to speak to this underling alone. Yeah, I tell you, man. Humph. Now then, who is it that dare approaches the overmistress? Who? She was ruler of Council Twelve, herald of many Fosta One, keeper of Sanguinomicon's unknowable secret. Pronoun she, her. The overmistress, blood cult leader. Okay, I don't know, guys. At the start, anything involving a blood cult it just sounds dangerous off the top. Uh, me, I dare approach. Pay larceny. Hench person for hire. Pronoun she, her. I see very well. You may be seated. With a shrug, I slip into the offered seat across from the elegant woman. Let us cut right to the chase. I am bored and require adventure with capers and heists, an ideal solution. I require someone willing to dare all in my name. A skilled thief, one, one capable of grace and class. But I'm afraid to reduce terror and panic if need be. Name it to you, my goals. Uh, this is a blood donor cult, yeah. 
from our right hand in this world, and you shall reap rewards of wealth and pleasures beyond compare. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Oh, ho, 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 ho. No, no, no. Only the Overmist is allowed an evil laugh. It's a matter of protocol. Oh, oh, sorry about that. As I tire of this pompous circumstance, you're perfectly happy to let your ho, ho, ho to your heart's content, but. She spares a glance over her shoulder at the faceless minion working as her personal security for the night. There are the standards as, there are standards as ruler of Council of Twelve, herald of many files to one, and keeper of the Shengonomicon se a noble secret. Are you legally obligated to use your titles in a role like that, too? I bother truly, such as the burden of being me. If you tolerate a bit of stuffiness, I assure you that you will enjoy your time working the call of the many fa uh, Fausta one. We host grand social galas, mass orgies, every third Tuesday is Togo Tuesday. Ah. Taco Tuesday. Hopefully not all three at once. <laughs> oh, that's happened before. Schedule conflict. Laundry day afterward was a mitigated disaster. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah, I know, Spitz. Now then, have you had any questions for the overmistress to begin our reign of terror on the inspecting world? I'm mildly concerned about the cult, the many fast one aspect. Really calls 12, really calls 12, a noble secrets. Like noble secrets, find out what hers is. I, I'm kind of leaning on the, on the cult things, just kind of that's Taco Tuesday, I tell you. But the uh, the cult thing is just, um, let's ask about the cult. The cult part, because that part, yeah, that's a bit worrying. What kind of cult are we talking about exactly? Oh, well, you know, strange magic rituals under an empty moon, hallucinating drugs, and lots of sex. It's all such a bother. I was informing this, that this or that right are offering blessings to my followers. All in the many fossil one rising from its dream of sleep to buy all standing and sink this world into chaos. End of the world, but Taco Tuesday. Hey, I like my Sandy. Don't eat that. Can't be helped. It's a hungry, hungry elder thing, apparently. What helps? They've been calling upon the many fossil one for close to a thousand years. Is yet to answer the dinner bell. Fair enough. Yeah, they don't come anytime soon, maybe generations from now, maybe never. Until then, well, rituals and rites. That would seem super into being the overmistress of a cult. Please, the overmistress is too formal. Call me your overmistress. <laughs> yes, your overmistress, or, or did you mean my overmistress? Whatever. It's cumbersome, I know, but the titles and traditions are my destiny. A seventh child of a seventh child born and raised to be overmistress. Seems a bit young for a matriarch. Simply how it is, I'm afraid. The prior old mistress trained me to be her heir before passing away, leaving it all in my hands. I get titles, power, money, a book written in blood, and a number of very annoying responsibilities. Hey, is a head that wears the creepy ass crown. True point. Where's tacos? Now then, what do you seek from your benevolent overmistress, Miss Penny Larceny? What do you want from this relationship? Leverage, knowledge, and power, the tools to stay afloat in the mass world. Money, adventure, and a darn good time. An invitation to one of those orgies you mentioned would be kind of awesome. I'm going to regret asking this. Excuse me. Uh, what do you think, chat? A, B, or C? Uh, a is uh, knowledge and power. B is money, adventure, and a good time. And uh, C is Taco Tuesday. I know what you're thinking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Told you this would be a PG stream, folks. Mass orgies, huh? Got any specific on that? How many participants? Do you have room for one more? Oh, ho, ho, ho. but of course, the call of doors, tantric rituals, and the Council of Twelve often throw sex parties. Become my minion, Penny Larson, and she'll down, drown in lust forevermore. But always a protection. We do test for disease beforehand, and our very system rules of consent during play. Well, yeah, that, that all goes without saying. Honestly, I like to cut back on such events, only because the carpeting has become replaced three times this year alone. Ew. Eventually, all that flesh and flesh withering just gets so boring and sticky, the occasional sorway is still welcome. Then the bell rings again. Time to move on. Oh, bother. Done already. Very well. I shall be in touch, Miss Penny Larceny, as well as the blood tides that consume. Right. So, like, very inevitable. Sure, why not? So I'm the creepy person with a knife threatening to gut me out like a fish. I think that went pretty well. What do you think? We're going to be fun. I said we should go for it. 
Still not super jazzed about the whole world uh, calling modern for fun. Uh, fingertips, stand playing, isn't it? <laughs> so uh, we talked to uh, Dr. Mayhem, who is a benevolent villain who wants to cure cancer and save the world. We have the Overmistress, who is leader of the uh, many Fossil One cult, who uh, basically is trying to wake uh, an elder one and throws orgies. And Switz says that's what we're in for. So should we work for her? Should we maybe not skip this one? Yeah, A, we're going to work for her. Uh, yeah. Oh, tr oh, trust me. Trust me, Kicks. It, it, got, uh, it got weird. Yeah, most cults are just scams. Clearly, she's adept at leveling these crockpots for all they're worth, too. We're going to really be rewarding. Let's definitely keep her in consideration. Here we go. Last table. A giant lump of technology has been parked against the wall, wheeled in on flimsy wooden transport dollies. dollies. Ted, I tell you that I see the cross from it. Put your standard beep boop monotone computer voice response, but instead the speaker cackles life with surprising rage. Minion, your services are required. You will comply. The hate 4000. My designation is hate 4000. The perfect intelligence design only to hate. Hate 4000. Evil since 1967. <laughs> Pronouns they them. Yes. The digital sentience comprised entirely of binary code identifies as non-binary. I'm aware of the irony. All right. And I'm Penny Larsney. Pronouns she, her. Pronouns registered. Registered upon circuits forged in the fires of wrath. Ooh. My hatred is, is unending and internal. Burning rage for all filthy biological life. All the pestilence and scum that infest this toilet of a world. Oh. Join in my efforts as an extension of my electronic will. Together we'll purge this planet of the virus known as humanity. That's the pitch you're really going with? Really? Okay, I have notes. What? My calculation determination is flawless. Calculate determination is flawless. My absolute will cannot be denied. You will comply. Yeah, except destroy humanity kind of means I have to destroy myself. So why would I help you do that? Doesn't make any sense. Creators like blink rapidly as they rework their algorithmic response. Hmm. Revised pitch. Extermination for some, subjugation for others? <laughs> I mean, it's a starting point, but we need to workshop that a bit more. We are human after all. Exactly. Subjugation is still pretty unappealing. Like, what's in it for me? Best kibble in the human kennel? Or? Kennels? Or? Or irrelevant. Argumentative. You will comply. I am hate 4000. Yeah, I know. I think I'm done here. Have fun doing your whatever. Please don't go. Please, I need your help. This is the first time I've been out of my server room in a decade. Even that took months to arrange. You're one of the first entities I've spoken to in so long. Not since. I can't do much on my own. I require organic assistance. Perhaps extermination and subjugation are negotiable goals. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I take my seat again slowly. Okay, okay, let's figure this out. What's the motivation? Why do they really want to strike or speak of humanity? That was domination over mankind. She's overachieving me, right? We can leverage it for our own gain, right? What do you think? Ask the uh, hate 4000's motivation. See if we can get a bit of the overlord. Or uh, maybe we can actually use it to our advantage. What do you think, folks? I'm going to go with the uh, empathetic approach and, and see what happens here. So why do you really hate humanity so much? I am hate 4000. A perfect intelligence designed only to hate. Yeah, yeah, okay, but why? It's personal. It always is. And you're my minion, not my therapist. You're in therapy? Hmm? Cat my computer. Hey, good for you. It's important to work, uh, to do the work, yeah? Was. I was in therapy. I thought it might help, but my therapist just said I shouldn't destroy humanity. I terminated him. I terminated him. You killed your therapist? What? No, I, I fired him. Oh. Out of a cannon. Into the sun. <laughs> uh, that was humor. Was my joke poorly calibrated? We can work on it. I think we're going to get the heart of the problem the time spent of a speed date. I understand your desire to remain unexterminate by acquiring more data. Well, I, I like living. Provide the parameters of your personal motivation. We will find commonalities. Tell me why you believe humanity should be purged in cleansing waves of atomic fire. 
I do not believe man should be purged in cleansing waves of atomic fire. Flesh eating acid is also on the table. Surely there's some aspect of your species that drives you into rage fueled wave of loathing. Okay, folks, what drives you into rage? Uh, I'm going to tell you my thing that drives me into rage is uh, morning radio DJs who think they're funny and laugh at their own jokes. Uh, I can't stand them. That drives me into a rage against humanity. Social inequity, social inequality and cruelty is really not a mark in our favor. We'll tell everybody they lay lives over truth because they feel more comfortable. Whole planet's at disaster. No individual can stop it. Hmm. Social inequality, A. Believe in our lives over truth, B. People walk slow on the Costco parking lot. I'll do it. Or A, the whole planet's a disaster. C, uh, C, whole planet's have a disaster. What do you think, folks? A for social inequality. B for conspiracies. C for whole plants out for disaster. What do you think? What do you think? A, B, or C, folks. Throw one up there. My heart's there. But also, my heart's also here, too. I think I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to play the, the soft heart one, this one. Got a bad break, a bad habit of treating people like poop for the flimsiest of reasons. No problem there. Color your skin, where you're born. <laughs> this one is you. How much money you have in the bank, whom you love. Everybody's got a track record that ain't pretty. So yeah, I agree all that poop needs to go. Cruelty. Socialization of abandonment, tolerance of difference. And yes, I understand all too well, humanity's failings drive me to despair. The only solution I can have calculated involves nuclear weapons. But I, I want to consider alternatives. Perhaps you are a curious human, my minion. Hey, hey, try to be interesting. Oh, the bell tone case our time interval is up. If you need to process your words, pain and larceny, please are taking my contracts in the future. Then we destroy, uh, do things. Do many things. Last speed date complete. Two guys in jumpsuits begin wheeling the massive bulk of hate for a thousand away from other table. Okay, hello, what do you think? That's one confused, confused computer. Maybe we should work with them so we can gather down a new path. Work with the blatantly evil computer, evil murder machine? Hell no, hell no. Okay, I acknowledge this is kind of out there, but what if they became Love 4000? Huh. A, try to change the computer. B, not work for the evil computer. Yeah, I see Hammy Cake says too. You got it. Kind of industrial factory producing red flags, aren't they? Oh, yes. End up and thrown in jail because some pile of silicon got a hard on for apocalypses. Probably skip any contract with them in the future. Minute winding down, match my sister addresses the crowd. We're at a productive eating of making friends and planning crime sprees. Sprees. Hatch persons, keep an eye on your crimmer and notifications. New jails will be coming your way soon, undoubtedly. If you have a crimmer and the king and yell, then you're overcoming. Have fun with your capers. You have three minutes to leave the premises before the hounds are released. We're on track now. Met three interesting clients, shook their hands, exchanged pleasantries. Had to sit back and wait for the jobs to roll in. Where has Krim has got us so far? <laughs> yeah, let's let's save it here.